Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In today's episode, we take a look at Sega's 60th anniversary on Steam. There were a lot of speculation on what Sega would do during this year for the 60th anniversary. Rumors like the Sega Dreamcast 2, a partnership with Microsoft in releasing the Xbox Series X and S in Japan as Sega's machine, to even Microsoft buying Sega outright. Well, so far that time has passed as Sega did release the Game Gear Micro, which was more for our collectors, and the hint of a new future machine being the Dreamcast Mini. As this past week, from October 15th to October 19th, Sega has teamed up with Steam for PC gaming and it had a huge sale as well as free giveaway of older games and mini games and incomplete games as well. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is exactly the same game but on PC. The game is still one of the best games featuring 2D Sonic besides Sonic CD. Played this game a bit longer than I really wanted to because I forgot how addicting this game can be. A very good game as an oldie but also a goodie. Armor of Heroes seems to be the most complete minigame, which is a four-player tank battle. The game features many maps with the view being a top-down look. The player can roam around the map with many different matches from deathmatch to elimination and different ways to control your tank with a tank control, relative control, or twin stick controls. The easiest way for me to use was the Xbox One gamepad was a relative control where I was able to control a tank with ease. Endless Zone is a fast-paced shooter inspired by Fantasy Zone. There are four worlds, but beware, the game is not easy by any means, and will have you earn everything you get. I pretty much got nowhere in this game, as the controls were a bit stiff for my taste. Plus, I'm really not good at 2D side-scrolling shooters. Streets of Kamurocho is a parody of Streets of Rage 2, but with characters from the Yakuza series with playable characters like Kairu, Majima, and the newest member, Yakuza Like a Dragon's Kasuga, will enter the fray and the action. All characters play similar as they have the same moveset as Axel Stone. Only one level of play and then it repeats. Nice fun beat em up, but will last you about 15 minutes before you just gotta move on. Golden Axed, a cancelled prototype, is the final game given a free play on Steam with one level of gameplay. You play as Axe Battler and basically kill anything in your way. Like the classic, it is a 2D side scroller with updated visuals but with fatality combos that look pretty awesome. This game is probably the easiest of the bunch. Button mashing will do you just fine but doing the fatal combos make the game that much more fun in the end. Too bad only one level that will keep you busy for just about 10 minutes and it's a nice tease. Now if someone will make a Golden Axe game like they did with Streets of Rage 4, I'm on board to even kickstart that one. Overall, Sega gave away hints of what could have been 
with games that were unfinished and games done on the side. With Armor of Heroes being the most complete, online play would have been awesome instead of just local play. Nice diversions making me want even more. That's it for this episode on Sega's 60th anniversary on Steam. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Viho out and Craig, take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. Uh.